United Prayer is not just a prayer. Dito basta prayer lang. This is an experience. And this is one thing we want to leave. Gusto namin iwanan kayo ng isang legacy na habang nagpipray tayo, nakikita natin na gumagawa ang Panang Espiritu sa atin. In fact, we are allowing the Holy Spirit to put in our in our mouth the words that we, that we would want to pray. Sabi sa Biblia, we don't know what to pray for, but the Holy Spirit is what agonizes and actually He's, He's doing His best to pray for us. And when we don't know what to pray for, the Holy Spirit will put the right words in our mouth. And uh, during the United Prayer, we should we should allow the Holy Spirit to speak through us para palulutangin ang Baranay Spirito kung ano yung kung ano yung gustong sabihin ng Baranay Spirito sa atin. You know, much of the time, pinipilit lang natin ang sarili natin ng salita. Pag pinagsasalita tayo, pinipilit natin ang ating sarili na tumayo o gumawa. Pero when we just allow the Holy Spirit to do it, we will see it's amazing work doing in our lives, changing our thoughts, changing our mind. Ang sabi sa Biblia, Offer your body as a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your original act of worship. And be ye not conformed with this world, but be ye transformed by the renewing of your minds. And uh, amazingly, I just want to tell you, I was praying for Robel by his face. I know it's, it's very difficult for him to speak. And I was praying, I prayed there, that the Lord will heal him as he speaks. And I believe that even during Ellen White's time, while she was speaking, she would be healed. Kitang-kita talaga na yung dugo, tumataas ng tumataas hanggang sa nakikita nila ang pulang-pula. And just this afternoon, God has manifested so much of His power that while Robel was speaking, after He was speaking, He was already healed of His own sickness. Amen? So the Lord is working in His place. But we don't want God to work in only one person or another person. We want God to work in our lives, in our heart, and work within our minds and work with even uh, within our mouth. Amen. So don't don't repress, don't despise the Holy Spirit. If He wants you to speak it out, speak it out, and you will see how God will work. Kaya kanina nagapila ko kung sino gusto mag speaker because I. I want you to be baptized by the Holy Spirit. Pagka gumawa kayo, nag-speaker kayo, nagpasakot kayo sa Panginoon, nagpagamit kayo sa Panginoon, see, habang nagsasalita kayo, naririnig nyo mismo yung sinasabi ninyo. Halos hindi nyo alam kung saan ang gagaling. The Holy Spirit is speaking just as He promises to speak. Amen? Nasabi sa Biblia, don't worry about what you would speak. It's the Holy Spirit who would speak through you. So dito pa lang sa prayer, kung magpapagamit na kayo, then gagamitin na kayo ng Baranay Spirito. Mapapansin nyo, paglabas na paglabas nyo dito, paano ako natutu magsalita? Because you just allow the Holy Spirit to speak through you. Yung timidity, yung pagiging mahiyain, is not the Spirit of God. Amen? It's not the Spirit of God. Timidity. Si Mrs. White, sa pinakamahiyain babae sa buong mundo. But whenever the Holy Spirit speaks through her, she speaks powerfully. And I hope na alis kayo lahat dito with that experience of the Holy Spirit. Alam niyo ang mga new generation ngayon, they don't love to hear about something. They don't want to know about something. They want to experience that something that people will talk about. At napakahirap naman na alis tayo without that experience. Would you like to experience the Holy Spirit in this place? Now let me read you in Acts chapter one verse two, in chapter two verse one. When the day of Pentecost had fully come. They were all with one accord in one place. They were all with one accord in one place. So how do we experience to be united with each other? Not only a communion with God. Hindi lang tayo makikipag-commune sa Panginoon. We will commune with each other. Amen? How do we commune with each other? By letting each other be used by the Holy Spirit. So how do we do that? Napakahaba naman kung yun ang mangyayari. So let's just have a bullet prayer. Bullet prayer means, kung ano lang yung lumutang sa isip mo, speak it out. And there are four categories para medyo maklasify natin yung prayer natin. First, we will love to adore and praise God. And what is the difference between adoration and, pray and, and thanksgiving? You adore God because of what He is, of who He is. And what is thanksgiving? You thank God because of what He has done. So, magkaiba yung who He is, 
and what he has done. What he has done yun. Alam mo, pinupuring kita kasi binigyan mo ako ng tinapay. Medyo ang context dapat, pinupuring kita kasi mabait ka, mapagbigay. Alam mo, pinasasalamatan kita kasi pogi ka. Hindi, hindi pwede naman. Pinasasalamatan kita kasi gumawa ka ng magandang bagay. So we, 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 we praise God. So how do we praise God? Sometimes we just think about the scriptures, how the scriptures tell it, and just you know speak it out just the way the scripture tell it. Oh Lord, oh Lord, how majestic is your name in all the earth. We tell that. Holy, holy, holy. So these are just simple words so that we can adore God unitedly. Amen? At ang kagandaan sa united prayer, hindi ka maiinip kasi you're waiting for somebody else to speak. Amen? And you're excited. And at the same time, medyo, uh, there's an element of surprise kung ano pa ang sasabihin ng Holy Spirit. We are not talking about surprise na may sasabihin yung ibang tao. But we were just surprised how the wind would flow through the conversation of the, the, the prayer so that the Holy Spirit would work through hearts and you will be amazed how all these words will come together and inspire even those who would pray and those who would listen to it. So in the context, from time to time, the Holy Spirit will inspire us to sing and let us sing. And then we will move from praises to confession. And there are confessions that needs to be done inside our closet. We should not be telling that confession, especially some sensitive sins that we alone and God should know. So, hindi na dapat natin exposure. But there are corporate, corporate and consensus sin. Ibig sabihin, halos lahat ay gumagawa, pero hindi lang maamin, hindi masabi. Say pride, you know, covetousness, vanity, selfishness. Those are sins that we need to be confessing to God. And if, if you need to be more specific, like, Lord, forgive me for not, you know, reading my Bible, for not sharing the Word of God and all of this, if the Lord impresses you to tell this, confess it. Why? Because it doesn't change God. It changes the person to speak it out and who confesses it. So the more you confess it, the more the Lord is going to work in your heart, especially if you confess it. Confession leads to faith. Amen? Faith, ang tawag doon ay reciprocal influence. When you tell it, it will influence you, it will tell you, going back to you again, and it will change you. Okay? The third is supplication. The Lord tells us that if we knock, it shall be open. If we seek, it shall be found. And when we ask, you know, ask, seek, and knock, it will be given us in His name. So we should be asking God. And when we ask God, we should ask by faith, in faith. Don't ask something that you can do. Ask something that only God can do for you. Amen? Because if you ask something that you yourself can do, usually you don't require, it will not require faith. So ask with faith something that God can do, especially impossible things. Okay? And then, at the end of it, we should manifest our faith by thanking God even to those things that He has not given you. Pagka ang Diyos nakarinig sa isang, pagka magulang nakarinig sa bata, na lagi siya nagpapasalamat kahit na hindi pa na inibigay, napakasarap sa magulang na magbigay. Pero pag nakarinig ang magulang na, hindi makarinig ang magulang ng pagpapasalamat kahit ang dami na niyang binigay, sa tingin niyo, magbibigay pa siya? Of course, magbibigay pa siya, pero hindi siya ganado. Amen? So I would like you to claim this by thanking God ahead of time before it happens. Amen? So it's bullet prayer, maybe one sentence, two sentences, three sentences. But if you would be inspired by the Holy Spirit to speak more than that, it's up to you. But it would, you know, it would be better if you would do it like one, two, three sentences. Okay? And if you would like to agree to somebody else's prayer, agree. And if you feel that there is something that needs to be rebuked, I mean, this, this, some, you know, sometimes, the spirit hovers over us. Mabuti kong spirit ng Panginoon. Minsan, may ikot-ikot. Minsan, may mga kung ano-anong tunog na naririnig ka. You really have to rebuke it niya. There must be unity in our prayer. Dapat hindi aalis yung isip mo sa within the, uh, within the group. There must be unity within us. Now, let me ask you a question. Would you covenant today that you would let the Holy Spirit speak in your heart and speak through your heart? Amen? So if that is your will, I'm ready for the United Prayer. You know, the JAR Conference has conducted 10 days of prayer this January 
from January 1 and to 10. This was started during the time of Ivor Myers. And this was a global rain project. And this global rain is what is creeping all throughout the world. And we want you to experience this thing. Okay? This time, let us gather together. Let's gather together here at the center. And then, let us press together. Let us press together, everyone. As you pray.
praise you, Lord, for you are good. Your love and your forever. Amen. Father, we praise you for being long suffering and patient for the Lord. We have been a wretched and fallen rest. We have been fools and we have fallen. We have gone astray and we have just not let us know.
Kami Nagkasala din sa aming kasarili Nagkasala sa iyo Pangalan Nagkasala ko sa aming pagkawal Tudalasan ang mga kumiinig na
think cloud of mind is to be able to see that which truly needs to be asked for the Lord. Help us in this way. Help us. Even Jesus name. Lord, I ask for the death.
kita mengalami pengembang dari kita berpikir kepada kami mengalami pengembang dari
Father, I plead this over them as I plead at your feet in Jesus. Amen. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Oh Holy Spirit, I would like to personally invite you to come within our hearts. Come Lord and change our hearts. Come and possess us today. We allow you heavenly spirit to possess us today. Use our hands. Use our mouth. Use our mind. Sanctify us, Lord, and keep us from falling. In Jesus' name. Amen. Their desire have to finish the work of the gospel. Dear Father, I humbly plead for your Holy Spirit to please move ahead of the hour of our lives to go work in the hearts of the leadership. Whoever needs to be taught, whoever is involved, pastor, Bible worker, evangelist, whoever. We need to seek permission from the Hegel on whatever needs to be done. Father, I plead that your Holy Spirit would open the way for us. So that when your sons and daughters go forward by faith, may they see only the hand of God prevail in every day. Allow them to see the stones, the challenges, the battles, but may you teach them to trust in the Lord. Father, I thank you very much for our people that are getting ready to be filled and empowered by you. And I claim their salvation at this very moment for a POIC that is yet about to happen. We claim victory of that youth conference in Jesus' name. Here, 
that burden to give Bible studies, that burden to share the truth of Jesus, that burden to go and pray with people, that burden to go and comfort people who are aching and are broken, that burden to go visit the poor, the naked, the lame, the hungry. May you, O oh Holy Spirit, possess so much your people in this place that this whole region may turn on its toes.